So Vincent Company has gone from Burnley Football Club relegation to Bayern Munich. Once powerhouses of Germany, now third in the league. And how has he got the job? I've got no idea. He takes over a very aging squad with the likes of Kane, Goretzka, Sane, Muller. So company going in pledges a promise to rebuild Bayern using Belgians only. As here we go into Bayern Munich, which I know are brilliant on paper, but it can't get much worse. 125 million to finish above third, but of course we've got our twist. Only Belgian players. But there's actually a further twist. As you can see the rules, the first one, granted, it is just assigned Belgian players. But the second one is different because there's so many clubs here. We can only sign one player from the Bundesliga. Can't go around stealing players. As the other rule as well, we've got to sign a minimum of one player from the Belgian Pro League. Using only Belgian players, we've got to try and improve Belgian football by going to the home, of course, where the players are made. And the final rule, of course, is to win the Champions League, which let's go and see if it can be done with only Belgian players. As we don't just start with Belgians, though, we can keep all these players here. The entire save. As I do want to keep a lot of players, the likes of Fonzie Davis. Now, big boys will come sniffing. And if we do get transfer offers, I probably will sell them as another player I want to keep. If we can, Mathers Tell, he looks brilliant. As this is the team we're starting with, and yes, we've got to change the position of Musiala to winger because of Guerrero. Now, I don't know about you, but if you don't know the glitch of this man, train him as a cam and I'll show you what happens. And yes, in the intro, I may have called players old like Sane, who's 27, but they're not... Too old, of course. I just plan on getting better players as these are all the transfer listed. I'm going to keep Kane off it just because I'd like to have him for a season. He has just arrived and so has Eric Dyer, but I am not going to use Dyer. Sorry, Dyer, you're Dyer. Not going to work for me as we are going. Gagan pressing and I've gone ahead and got coaches. Everybody should be coached well. As is there any immediate positions we could actually strengthen in this team? I may be thinking right back, but Bowie's quite good. Maybe goalkeeper, because Neuer's getting older, and surely there's a Belgian shot stopper who can improve. A young shot stopper, and we have found him. He's even in the Pro League. Martin van der Voort. Will he play season one? Absolutely not. No chance. But he is on his last year of contract. Only 11 million. Might loan him season one. But then again, might not have a choice. Because a lot of offers for players, including Manny Neuer. Who will be leaving the club and going to Leverkusen. And also Goretzka. He's chosen City. As companies probably had a word and said how good City is for players as, hey, here's a player coming in. It, of course, is our goalkeeper, Martin van der Voort. He will start for Bayern Munich and that is our Pro League player down. Now we can look elsewhere as we could actually stay looking in Belgium because Kylian Sardella, he looks a good right back. So welcome, welcome. We are bringing him to the training ground as he's going to go out on loan. Speaking of going out on loan, we've got an academy here and it's full of Belgians. But our best one is Laurent, who is a goalkeeper anyway. Terrible timing, but if we change this man Simons into a centre-back, I've got a good feeling. Although he can't go out straight away and it's only two signings, I might leave it at that, you know. Van der Voort starting. Yeah, not much business I actually wanted to do season one. I wanted to trust the team, see how it's running and which positions do worst to tell us where to sign. As 376 million is enough for next year, but do you know what I want to go up for next year? The subscriber count on the channel, of course. As we're going to go bold and we are going to say our aim is 50,000 subscribers before the end of the year. If that does happen, I might even think of a giveaway. So make sure you're subscribed to be in with a shot. A big aim, of course, as this is a big team. And Van der Voort's living up a little bit. It's gone up, but not gone up much. We've actually lost Sasha Boy, and I loaned out our boys, the two Belgian lads, that is. But that's not my only worry. It's actually Lars Simmons, who goes to a 64, 
This man looks special. Very good player. So he's straight into the reserves. Has Lorenz gone up a little bit? But what about the right back? Sardella 74. So he's not a world beater just yet. We actually sent him back to Anderlecht. So he's a Belgian playing for Belgium. Basically bought him and just sent him straight out on loan again. There's Jamal Musiala. We've changed him to a left mid. Because you might be thinking, Max, why didn't you sell Guerrero? Watch this. Bang! 88! What a position swap. The man is fantastic. And he's been playing in that camp position. 11 goals, 13 assists. But Kane got 44 goals. As where did we actually finish? In the Bundesliga top? No. Same order as IRL. I believe so anyway. Maybe Dortmund didn't come second. But we from third. Bad. Very, very bad. And I laugh because has Kane not won a trophy? He has the Super Cup. I don't care about it and I'm not going to count it. DFB Pokal though. Oh, what a count of that. We come second to Leipzig, losing in the finale. Against Leipzig in everything as well. The UCL. I forgot to show you the group as we lose out to Copenhagen. Top of the group. Even Man United finishing above us, but we hammered Pek Zwolle, so we have gone through the preliminary round. And we should make the finals. We beat Leverkusen 5-4. That's actually a tight game. Then we beat Milan 3-1. On to the semis where we hammered Rangers. And then the final. We beat Leipzig. Didn't do it in the Pokal, but did do it in the Europa. So it's a trophy season one with our Belgian players that are surely to be added to. Or sure to be added to in season number two. And there's a worrying thing about it. Look at the contracts. A lot of players expiring and I'm kind of leaning towards actually not signing any up. Just trying to sell them last minute to raise funds, of course to go and sign Belgians. There's only one player I care about keeping, and that is Harold Kane, who's got a three-year contract. Can we win the UCL before it expires? To give him that big trophy, as the boards took some money off us, but 277 million, we can afford any Belgian. But before we get to spending, we've got to figure out what we do with Simmons. Does he stay on the bench? Think probably a loan deal. Sardella can take his place. In fact, he could go into the first team because Marawi is actually injured, or Mazarawi, who I'm going to sell. And yes, in season one, I know I signed two players from the Pro League. I'm actually going to just look for one, and then I'll go out of Belgium. As here's our one player, we've gone ahead and got another defender, just a bit like company, Jorne Spillers. And he could actually play because I've gone ahead and sold it was Upamecano and I'm trying to sell Eric Dyer. Just can't get rid of him, but two players I have got rid of, Lars Simmons and Laurent on loan. As I won't be spending any more money on the academy I don't think, unless we struggle for a position, I'm going to go big from now on. As important positions to sign, well, we do need a left back, but I'd also say a right winger, because we don't have any others there. Whereas with left back, we do have Mazarawi who sat on the bench, so yeah, right mid, and actually maybe a centre mid. And if you couldn't guess who we were going for this window, of course it is this man, Johan Bakayoko. Absolutely phenomenal, so we're going to go and buy him, but we can't bloody get him! Too important for Bayern? Never heard anything as stupid in my life. So I'm going to get a left wing, Malik Fofana, who is only 75 and he's only 5 foot 7. I really wanted Bakayoko. Stupid that they won't sell him. But hey, I guess if that's the way it works. And another low rated player, Maxim de Kuypia. Not high enough rated. But hey, it's a rebuild. You've got to get worse before you accelerate. So into the club he comes from Sassuolo over in Italy. We've made three signings this window. Is that really enough? Well, with our firepower, we should be safe enough. Maybe put up a title charge. Good defense as well, center backs. But weak in midfield. Then again, Pavlovich is quite young, only 20 years old and he's 71 rated. If we treat this like Another transition period. Just get Champions League and get our players increasing. And I'll never understand FIFA or EA or whatever the game's called because look at our fullbacks. Di Kuipia and Sardella, they have actually played. 
And also Masarawi has. Just don't get it at all and don't think I'm actually moaning. It's a good thing. Our Belgians are getting minutes. But will we finish higher with them though? That's the question as we're going to scroll up by a Leverkusen terrible. Ninth in the league as we're not third but second and very far off Dortmund. Not winning the Bundesliga, which is rather concerning. And Pokal as well. We have lost to Leipzig. I'm not liking Red Bull anymore. I'm only joking. Of course, I love doing the Red Bull saves as we do finish second in our UCL group to Liverpool. As could we win it this year? Not one bit. We are smashed by Atleti. 4-0 on aggregate. And that's got to be down to our defence still because we've got Musiala, Kane, Guerrero, Delict even. How are we doing bad with him? I will never know. Maybe King Min Jae in real life struggling for a bit of form. And maybe the game's copying it as Kane does get 21, which is actually a lot lower. Maybe we need attackers still. Yeah, season number three. I do think we need backup force because Stanisic... I didn't realise he's in that position. And also Eric Dyer, because them two shouldn't be there. We need attackers on the bench. We just haven't got them. As we've got our defenders back as well. Spielers, I think, was here already. And Simmons, he did go out on loan. But of course, he's not as good as King Min Jae, the Korean defender at the moment. As speaking of Korea, I didn't mention I've got their kit on. The away kit, I didn't even realise. And I did get this off the sponsor of the channel, Soccer Deal Shop, which... Has a link in the description. Cheap and affordable replicas that save you paying 125 quid. And plus, you can get more off with the code on screen. As what about the other goalkeeper? What was his name? Laurent. Well, he's not doing good. And I'm leaning towards keeper. Yes, Van der Voort. He's actually coming on brilliantly, but not quick enough. And there is a good keeper out there. And with 384 million... I think I might actually do it because he should be cheaper right now with the age of the tall man. The juicy T-Bone Courtois, who's our new number one, taking over Manuel Neuer after two seasons. Yeah, very happy with him. He is 33 years old, so Van der Voort can keep on growing as we need to grow our players more. Plus replace some current ones because Kim Min Jae is running out of contract. Also, Musiala, that is concerning. Still, I won't lose too much sleep. I know which replacements to get in as the first one in midfielder, Albert Sambila Conker. Looks as if his move away from Arsenal's done him good because he's at Nice and 82 rated, so not very low at all. Very good midfielder, but this is where we exercise our Bundesliga rule because the next player is in our league. Very surprised he stuck with them, but Asta Vrankix, I think that is saying it right. I don't know how you actually pronounce an X. Guessing it's just Vranks? And what am I even talking about? I've got an X in my name. Max. I'm stupid. Moving swiftly on, I guess, as first, a position change. We're going to make Fafana a right mid. He's comfortable. Get him on a decent drill. And of course, we haven't yet bought our player from the Pro League. And we need a backup striker. As here he is, looking very good, Lucas Stassin. I didn't expect this man. For only 18 million? Think that deserves a pat on the back, surely, as this is the team we have. Sambi Conga, don't you dare glitch with your fitness because you're in the main team and you're actually ahead of Conrad Limer. A little bit of a young bench and very, very badly rated. And yes, you did see Maserawi in the reserves. I don't actually want him to play and he shouldn't need to play in that group. Should be getting through that. As looking at the team though, mm, it's good. And I have signed Musial up. You can't release him on a free. Come on. Don't mind Kim Min Jae, but then we've got Mazarawi, who is leaving in the window, although it has played him. Not a fan of that. As Harry Kane, top scorer with 36 goals. Musiala second. And fourth, well, joint fourth, is Fafana and Kuipia. Fafana's rating. Very impressive. Maybe don't need Bakayoko as this is our lineup. So yeah, Sardella's not played, but he is 81. Kuipia has and Vranks and Sambi Lakonga forming a very decent partnership, but decent in the league. Let's have a look as Leipzig are down there. It's one defeat all season and we don't win it. Second to Dortmund. I actually don't believe it. What about the Pokal? 
Hey, at least we have one trophy. Our Belgian boys have done it. One trophy in the bag. And then when you see our UCL group, we scored 15 goals in only six games. That's fantastic. As then the round of 16... Athleti again! Seriously, who the hell do they have in their team? I mean, they do have a Jao Felix. Then we've got a Guerrero. Have they got a good defense? Well, yep, a lot of solid players, which I think we need more of. That's what we're going to try and bring in. As season number four, two, three, nine million. We definitely do need defenders. Kim Min Jae is gone. And I don't really trust Spielers, although he is from Belgium. Yeah, he's not going to cut it, is he? 21 year old. Maybe, actually. We are going to trust Sardella. Then again, we want to win things. And with the defenders we have, he just doesn't cut it at the moment. And we need progression. So here's what we'll do. The first players we're going to sign is Mandela Keita. Try him at centre-back, but not only get him, but get another player from the Pro League, Yari Vasharian, the youngster. As here's Cater in first, and I'm going to try centre-back. Nine weeks, not bad. We've got loads of coaches on defensive, so hopefully he works and he will replace Spielers. And yeah, that's about it. Apart from fixing our bench now, as one player who will be fixed, not into the first team though, is Conrad Lima, 88, and he's a central midfielder. As we've still got quite a few very solid players, and this guy's just going to be on the bench, but for Sharian, quality. If he could play behind Kane when Guerrero's maybe injured, it's better for the Champions League, for Cal. So many bloody competitions. As he replaces Vanner, as now it could be a fullback, but I want another midfielder of very high quality. And look at this guy, Matthias Deloge, or Deloge, hey, whatever. How's he stuck at Girona? Is he good now? No. Is he a will be a nobody's potential at 21? has to be sky high as finally no i've not forgot about a fullback and it's hard scouting because everybody from belgium just likes to be a center back including our manager vincent company as i found one kiriani sabe not overly convinced but we've used this guy before so i know what i am getting he will grow in potential but we need someone world class so what i'm going to do we haven't bought from the bundesliga get lois appender now i know we've got harry kane but with this signing here we're not only getting more goals but we're weakening a rival a club rival in leipzig as what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to replace Lima on the bench because if I actually do that, now our full bench is from Belgium. And that makes me feel, well, proud of our signings as one of them will. So stay the same. Wanted that higher, but still, we don't mind it, especially with this group, which I think we should get out of again. That season right there is the most we've ever spent so far. So when we 42 million euros left at the end of the season, which of course we couldn't spend as that is our team and Courtois injured. That's not a good sign, especially after real life. You don't like to see it. But Van der Voort, 84. Maybe he could step in now. He was first choice for a while, as our two best players at the club still are the originals Musiala and an aging Harry Kane, who did get most goals. Fafana's getting quite a few, and our left back is amazing, De Kupia. Mwah. The only issue though, a pender. One goal in 11. He actually didn't play many games. Not sure about that, Chief. I wanted him playing more as we just don't win the Bundesliga. It doesn't happen anymore. With Harry Kane in our team, it's a curse. But hey, at least the trophy curse is not gone. We've won the Super Cup. And then the Pokal, not won. But hey, it's Champions League as we are first in our group. Stad Rene second. Juventus drop out. Don't know why I'm so surprised we have done that ourselves before. And Celtic we squeezed by, so we have got past the round of 16. To then go and get Manchester City, company's old club, beat him here. That is disappointing, but the worst thing in my mind, there's no Belgian players I can think of signing. And this challenge just got a lot more difficult. 164 million. Spent too much last year that the boards actually not give us as much. Very, very shameful. Do they want to reach the top of Germany? Then again, what do we do? Our four best players 
are actually the originals. Plus Courtois with that rating, but again, he might not be here because he's got injured and he's old. They actually haven't checked the injury. Broken tailbone, three months out still. And he's at the end of his contract, which I will try and sign up again. As I'm going to play this tactically, I want to win the Bundesliga minimum, if not the league. Dylan Dames. This man right here is the man I'm taking from the Pro League. Not because I think he'll do good, which he actually should do. But he's only 1.6 million and he's the youngest player in that league. So, of course, if he's very young and this save goes on for ages... He will be utilised, and again, I wish in Season 1, instead of the youth players we got, we got someone like him. As now he's all the way down there, we can go and spend freely. Who's the best Belgian player? I think I've got one in mind. This man, Jonathan Bakayoko's 86. But then again, I don't want to go for him. Just by the fact we couldn't get him earlier. Feels like he actually rejected us and we actually can afford him. But nope, I'm looking elsewhere. I am marking protest. As instead of him for cheaper, Jeremy Doku in his final year of contract at City probably won everything in England. So here he is at Bayern. The Belgians come across. Now please let us win something. Now I've said that about Doku. As he isn't first team quality, but he will be on that bench and I'm sure he will get game time. So we need to get some better players. And if you were wondering about Courtois, I know I've took a big gamble, but I've released him. Yes, he just wasn't recovering well. As I want to trust the keeper, and I'm going to trust this man as well, Romeo Lavia of Chelsea slash Palace. As I'm pretty sure this man wipes out our budget. And oh man, he would have been good as actually a centre-back. As yeah, look at them stats. He's definitely a defender at heart, but still... I am going to try him in the centre slot. As another season going by and another of just backups. And I know we've still got four OGs who, of course, aren't from Belgium. In Musiala, Kane, Delict, and Guerrero. And also Lima in the reserves. But I might just actually release him. Don't want to actually see him kick a ball for the team as Atletico in our group. At least not in the knockout rounds. As if we go and get them after we whoop them in the group stage. I will retire from Bayern Munich, even though I'm not the manager. Cause company's in charge, and there he is, the man. I absolutely love his trainers, but you might not be able to see them. Either because of the screen or my big dome, as yes, get in. We have won the Bundesliga. Kane has got his trophy, and I got to say quietly i don't think it's because we've been good but dortmund have been worse than us because 68 points that is not worth the trophy at all so get it into our cabinet the one we've all been waiting for but will it be a double oh no mines and leverkusen so no pokal success champions league we move on to as what did i say about Atleti? we'd hammer them and we did we finished actually joint with them and they got the better goal difference but we must have beat them head to head as oh we beat man city 6-1 on aggregate absolute scenes liverpool beat athleti as then we beat fiorentina on penalties very close then leverkusen we beat 3-1 in the semis bundesliga and champions league come both together for the belgian bayern that's a tongue twister i've ever heard one Still getting my tongue in a twist right now. Bundesliga Bayern Belgians. That is a really hard thing to say as all Delict is injured and we do have Spielers. So I've gone ahead and put him in the team as we've got 88 rated. We've got a 90 for Fana. Just look at the man's stats. As top scorer was Harry Kane and then Musiala, then Guerrero. I'm going to go on to them in a second, but I want to check on Kuipia. What positions could he actually play? You can see two weeks for right back. Oh my day. Look how quick he can change positions. He literally can play anywhere. But for now, he's staying left back. Keita, what a signing he was. And I'm also thinking Lavia. Do we actually change him to centre-back? No, I'm not going to do it. I'm actually going to change this up. As in 3, 2, 1. Bang! We've gone to this. So Pender in the team. Docker win the team. Yes, you're right if you think I'm crazy, because I definitely am. I want to play the Belgians. I want to take the risk. Of course, in the title, it's Belgian only, so I've got to try and live up to that. And that is what this is, as William Saliba in the defence 
for Liverpool. I think the changes we've actually made might actually hinder us, but still, we can bring Kane off the bench if needs be. Is Mandela getting the block in? Who's Mandela? Is that Keita as a block? Not handled. Don't say this is a pen. I mean, it was so jammy. The referee's even in the way. He can't even see the replay. But yes, the spot kick, and it's going to be Victor Giocares. 1-0 Liverpool. Will our gamble come back to bite us? Changing the whole team, maybe not the best idea, but still, Doku on that wing. Unlike the Euros, he should be good. You need to get running, Jeremy Doku inside Saliba. He's even cut inside of him, experienced in the Premier League. Stopped by the last man, though. Who I think was Gabriel. Have they got both of Arsenal's centre-backs? I think so, as now Spielers. As into Laconga, into a Pender. Now Sardella, one of our first signings wide. So unbelievably close as now Lavia in the midfield. Of course, an overpaid signing this season. That man is Branch. Gets the ball out wide into Dikuipia. Get involved a bit more, mate. You're our main player. And that is a good ball. Just no one on the end of it as Dikuipia get upfield, man. I might have to play him in the midfield as Vranks hits it. It falls back to Franks and that's got to be handball. I mean, it was hammered amongst him. And now a penalty to us. Don't even need a replay. And our penalty taker's the left back. He is brilliant at everything. As Dikuipia, score please. He puts it top left. We love our top corners. The number five scores and level in the final. What a signing he's been, man. I mean, yes, we've only played one in-game game, but he seems very solid as that's a ball down the line into Fafana. Now Malik, you get involved. Another good signing instead of Bakayoko, who I think should have come, but he didn't as now Sardella getting down that side a lot as we go into go short corner. Vranks into Fafana. Now on the edge of the box, I'm speaking quickly as Doku takes it on and Gabrielle it is him on the wing or in the defense as there's that handball it is again very fast paced game as I'm speaking very fastly and that is just smacked him on the hand I mean I am sick of loads of penalties but they actually are penalties I think EA should stop them as that's a pretty big circle Oh my days what a waste man I mean it's been brilliant all game but had to score the second penalty as that's three and a half. A lively half at that as now Vranks gets the ball into Fafana. We need to get running at them straight away. Sardella inside. Come on, we don't give up this game. We actually score without a penalty if that's even possible as Vranks. He cut it a little bit short, but he actually got the shot off and I'm proud of him for doing that as this man Peacock dominating, but a bad pass. Into Vranks and now Lavia hit it out wide. We've still got all the good players on the bench, of course, as it's turning into a bit of a sluggish game. Passing all over the place. What is this Liverpool lineup still? Simicast, get in there. Mandela, that's a brilliant tackle. And now Fafana, come on. You're bloody 90 rated. Appender, that is better from you, Lois. You only scored one goal one year, as that is a brilliant release as well. On the wing, Malik Fafana. There's no pressure on our right winger, and he hits it across goal. Allison saves them, but a corner for us. Jeremy Doku, edge of the box. I do like this chance of a shot, but Fafana across the box into Mandela, our centre-back. Again across the box, please. He has chipped it. or oh, jump higher because that was a big chance. And now Doku around the corner. The chance is actually still on. It's Sambi Laconga into the middle. Sambi's actually from Arsenal. I wonder how many Arsenal players are playing this game. As Fafana, he's been brilliant. But this man, man of the match for me. Franks, a back heel. Fafana, Franks in the middle. We're going to go to the back post though. It is Doku who should have scored again. All us in this game are Sardella into Sambi and Declan Rice. He actually doesn't get the better of Sambi. And Fofana on the turn. It is Fofana looking for the angle. Please, someone get in the middle. It's no chance. The walking is out. But still, into Sardella, our right back. Sambi Lakonga shoots. Oh, Pender, it falls to. And in the 92nd minute, we will win this rebuild. Took the cursing Kane out of the team. And a Pender scores the winner. What a lucky goal. I'm actually surprised he was on side. Wrong side of the defender, but as soon as they kick this ball, Bayern Munich, the Belgians, champions of Europe. Trophy in the bag, and all the rules abided by us. It's going to be Mandela 
Solid in that finale. Decoip your next to cater as that is it into the sky. And if you did like this nation rebuild, comment below a few more to do. We have some already on the channel and if you want to see them, click below and also click here if you want a random rebuild.